Wake up, people. I'm exhausted, and welcome to Minecraft. I've never played Minecraft on the channel, and this is a first. This is a first for the channel. But, you'll notice there's already a huge structure in front of me, and this is only day one, as you can see up in the corner. And what is this little sun icon? I should probably get moving, because I don't know when darkness comes. This is modded Minecraft. This is called Rebirth of the Night. Basically, the goal of this mod is to keep the game similar to the base game, like, similar in a sense, like, see how long it's taken me to break this? I think, like, you'll... Actually, it's not that bad. I remember it being worse. I played this a long time ago. But, it keeps it similar to it. Adding new mobs and new things to do and tons of things over on this side, as you can see, to craft. So, there's a little bit more. And I believe every seventh night, it comes a horde. A really spooky horde. Where is that church I was just looking at? I am totally already lost. Wasn't I... How did I just get turned around so easily while I was speaking to you guys? There it is. What the heck? Oh, it's on the tree? Is that what's happening? Is that thing floating? We must explore this first and foremost. But then we gotta think about a base of operations. See how long this is taking? I think it's taking long because the other one was dead and it was on the ground. So, once we get some uh, wood, we can make a crafting table, we can make an axe, and everything like that. I wanna play this like a normal survival. But just think a little bit more critically because I was going to do a let's play on the base game, vanilla Minecraft, but I've played that so much that I have I think I've just kind of outgrown it a little bit. No hate against the base game, it is really fun with good friends. Aha, wait, what is up there? Is that a spawner? Is this a spawner up here? Also, the what is the point of a wooden pickaxe? It does nothing. Oh, I almost fell. What is this? I don't think I really want to know, so we're just going to keep moving. The main thing that I focus on, at least at the very beginning of starting a world, starting a survival world, is location. I don't like this snowy dead tree location. You know, some people might like the snow and all the, the dead trees and the dead grass and everything, but that just ain't my style. That's not what it's all about. I would like to live near a village. Oh! <gasps> Look at the piggy! You are so freaking cute, it's unreal! But look at this, guys. You've never seen a cave like this in my in regular old Minecraft. What is this material? I have no idea what the heck that is. I do not want to go down there. Uh, it's really spooky. There's, like, different types of enemy mobs in this mod. So, <laughs> it gets very spooky very quick. So, we're gonna explore a little bit. I should have probably made some weapons, maybe. Whoops. <laughs> It has been a very long time since I've played Minecraft, so don't be upset with me for the way that I craft and everything. But we should probably make a sword out of wood. Oh. Or maybe a sharp stick? <laughs> what is the recipe for a sword? How do I make just a nice little beautiful wooden sword? I'm assuming I need like a handle. Is this a handle? That's a shaft. Is that gonna do it? No. <laughs> Hang on here, I can figure this out. How do you make a regular sword? A handle. Okay, how do I make a handle? A bunch of shafts and wool. Or string. Well, I don't have either of those things. So we can't actually... <laughs> we can't actually craft that yet until we find some wool. See, it's just a little bit more effort that goes into this version of Minecraft. You need to think a little bit more critically. You can't just go around all willy-nilly. I just saw something... What? We're gonna die on the first episode. This is not hardcore. Are you friendly? Nope! Oh my god. Ow, ow. I'm getting chewed on. I'm getting frozen solid. I'm fr I'm literally frozen. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was horrifying. That is another reason why I don't want to live in the snow. You know, it gets a little cold, but also, you know, the big giant frost demons, those things come out, and they're a little bit spooky, if you ask me, so I don't really want to live there. Hello, Mr. Piggy. How's it going? Do you mind if I kill you? I really want to eat tonight. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, look away if you're sensitive to murdering. So, I'm going to need to find shelter. I want to live mountainside, I think. Um, this first base is only going to be a temporary base just to survive the first night. It is about noon, as you can see by our little sun clock over there. So, 
I need to find something. Oh, look at those trees over there. This is like a little island over here. This is beautiful. Look, there's even apples growing on the trees. We are going to be just fine. Uh, are you nice? You sound like a baby. <laughs> I'm not going to kill you. Don't worry. Please tell me I can harvest this. Harvest this. Harvest this with my hands. I got a guava. That's not going to cut it. That's just not going to cut it. Guava does nothing. But I've got to do what I've got to do. I have to eat. All right, I'm going to fuel up for a second here, guys, and then we'll get started on a little base of operations. I got to get some stone so I can melt down that pig that I murdered. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's got to happen. Eventually, oh, eventually, we'll get set up to where we have, a we have some crops coming in. We have a nice, beautiful farm. We could become vegetarian. But for now, I've got to brutally murder the animals and eat them. What the heck? Does someone live out here? Do the sprites grow things? Why are there fence posts and... Is there a village nearby, possibly? That would be the cat's meow. Look, there's plenty of animals around. <gasps> oh my goodness, a little chickadee. I thought that was a creeper. The little green guys look like creepers, so it can be a little spooky out here. I should probably grab some of those crops. Maybe there's something like a carrot or something in here. No, it's just wheat. Who cares? <gasps> I don't know if you guys saw that peeking around the corner, but there's a village out here. We are definitely setting up shop in the village just for now. We're going to have this beautiful forest. Maybe we'll live there. Who knows? Do you guys want to see me live in the beautiful bamboo forest? Do you want to see me try and tame that giant frost thing? <laughs> Whatever that thing was. Ow, ow, what's chewing on me and chomping? What the heck is going on? No, 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 no. I'm not dying. I'm not dying. What is fighting me, though? Birds? Are they spitting at me? What is happening? What are you guys doing? No, 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 no. Uh, there's no door in here. Let's talk about a pumpkin. Uh. <laughs> Why does everything want to kill us, dude? I'm sick and tired of it. Ow! Why, bruh? There, we're completely sealed in. Nothing is gonna get us. This is our new home. We're gonna have to dig straight down. Is that my blood? Am I bleeding blood? Oh god, don't make me bleed my own blood. What was I going to do? Oh, I just recalled. I'm gonna try to make a hoe. Hopefully it is... <laughs> hopefully. There it is. So hopefully I can harvest easier with this. What is... A fe I got a feather? I need... I'm gonna have to make the sharp stick, honestly. That is not, that's not a sword. I'm gonna have to make the sharp stick because I don't know how to make a handle. Did my game just, did it just crash? All right, so the game has been crashing over and over. I don't know why. So I don't know how much I lost between the last cut and this cut, but we made this little temporary base. I literally just hollowed out into the side of a mountain. <laughs> It's been super stressful. There are zombies outside and it's horrible And if you're wondering why I have this giant window letting in all the zombies and all the horrible It's because look how dark it gets when you <laughs> It's crazy. So I tried to make charcoal. We ended up with ash. I Risked my life for charcoal and I ended up with some ash get out of here zomb. I see you out there So it's not going well, but we have a temporary little base of operations now at least when you have the furnace on, it's light in here. I could just keep smelting things. <laughs> but I'm going to work on this and turning and turn this into a nice little temporary base while we figure out this whole modded crazy <laughs> adventure, I guess. And just try not to die any more than we already have. Because it has not been easy so far. I'm going to make a brand new pickaxe as well. But guys, this is where I think I'm going to end our first installment into this mod. If you guys like this, let me know down in the comments. If this is too crazy and too out there, also let me know and maybe I'll consider playing the regular base vanilla Minecraft. Because that's always fun as well. But, despite that, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you like my content and you want to see it every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday at 4pm, consider subscribing. I hope you have a great rest of your night. Get some rest.